In this Tobacco University, we're going to answer the question, how do you create feminized cannabis seeds? And walk you through some of the scientific literature uh, supporting this uh, protocol and also provide you with some of the details on how to create the proper ratio of silver style sulfate if you want to do this on your own here on Tobacco University. All right, so let's get into the video of how to create feminized cannabis seeds. Well, here's that reference article. Uh, if you want to look at more, some more of the details, and I'm going to provide just a brief kind of summary, grower-oriented. But if you want to know, look at the original study, uh, this is all the proper citations associated with where the information was originated from. So first off, basics of creating feminized seeds. Well, in order to produce all female seed, what's required is the induction of female plants to develop male flowers uh, that produce pollen that will be genetically female. Why is this? Well, female sex chromosomes are an X and an X. A male sex chromosomes are an X and a Y. Therefore, when a female plant, which is XX, is induced to form pollen, since there are no Y chromosome, all the resulting pollen will be the XX or female. Uh, a genetic type. When pollinated with a known female plant, which will also be XX, this will result in the offspring also being female, and this is the basics for creating feminized seed. Now, how do you induce male flowers on a female plant? Because that seems like uh, an obvious question here. Well, three millimolar silver thiosulfate, abbreviated SDS, was applied as a foliar spray on three occasions, seven days apart, to produce male flowers. The three millimolar SDS treatment was shown on four strains of female hemp having a THC content that of equal to or less than 0.3%. And those different uh, strains were designated CBD hemp A, CBD hemp B, CBD hemp C, and industrial hemp. So what are some of the specifics of this study? Well, their materials and methods, they used rooted cuttings that were about six inches high with two shoots when foliar sprays of the SDS were initiated. Silver thiosulfate solutions at 0.3 and 3 millimolar were prepared by mixing silver nitrate with SDS in a molar ratio of 1 to 4. Uh, and this is per previous study. Now, if this is kind of getting a little scientific for you, uh, if you wait till the end of the slideshow, I'll show you the exact process of preparation steps to make that 3 millimolar silver, silver thiosulfate solution. And I'll walk down the steps on how to do that. The reason why I walk you through the three uh, millimolar is that's what was shown to be most effective in this study. So plants were sprayed till runoff, which is, was about 20 milliliters per plant on three occasions, seven days apart, being on April 30th, the year 2018, for the first replication, and on the 14th of May 2018 for the second repli replication of this study. Control plants receive sprays of water only to act as that kind of nice control in this scientific experiment. On the 30th of April and the 14th of May, plants begin receiving short day conditions of about eight hours using blackout curtain to initiate the flowering stage. So what were the general study results here? When we're kind of doing this comparison of the study results between 14 and 21 days, after the first STS uh, spray treatment, plants transitioned from first flowers to full flowering phase. The most complete inflorescence uh, conversion to male flowers occurred at the 3 millimolar SDS for all hemp strains. At 3 millimolar SDS, the majority of inflorescence had 100% male flowers, and the remaining inflorescences had 75% male flowers. Untreated control plants, or all four hemp strains, produce only female flowers as expected. So just this, again, shows you the actual numbers here, shows the actual uh, percent of male inflorescence, shows you the different treatments. Again, if they were not treated, we could see that there were no um, induction of male flowers, which would be expected. You can see the greatest percentage here at that 3 millimolar molar SDS treatment. So, however, it's important to note that during this study that male flowers that developed on genetically female plants did produce pollen, so that's a good thing. However, the pollen did not appear to be as plentiful or freely released as observed on truly genetic male plants. So that's an important distinction to make there. The pollen did produce seed, which was harvested, germinated, and exposed to short day conditions, and resulting plants were confirmed to be female. So that's a great kind of conclusion of the study. Just be aware, if you're used to growing traditional male plants, while there is pollen produced, it's going to be slightly different, but still can produce viable offspring. 
So what's a possible explanation for this, you know, SDS? Why is this kind of, you know, why is this showing to be um, effective? Well, ethylene blocking by SDS, which ethylene is another plant hormone, is likely responsible for the production of male flowers on female hemp plants in our study. This is the one that I'm referring to that I cited at the beginning. It's genetically believed that ethylene blocking is extended when a series of sprays of SDS is used compared to a single spray of SDS. And that's based on a previous study found in this article. It may be possible to induce male uh, flowers on genetically female hemp using other ethylene perceived inhibition chemicals, uh, but this is, shows here that SDS can have um, an effect and could be a very notable effect as well. So this, what's the general conclusion of this study? Well, this study demonstrated that male flowers can be produced easily, consistently on female plants through application of foliar sprays of SDS under short day conditions. Overall, SDS at three millimolar was the most effective treatment for producing the greatest number of male flowers on female hemp plants. We did not observe any plants phytotoxicity or delay in flower development, which is again, another great plus. Furthermore, we were able to achieve 95 to 100% conversion male flowers for all of the hemp strains produced here. And this just shows you some pictures from the study provided. Now you're probably wondering at this point, well, how could I create a three millimolar concentration of STS? Well, here I provide you with the pr how to exactly go about preparing that particular uh, dilution rate and solution. Now I give all the information here, so it's important to probably pause the video here, print this out, take a screenshot, or utilize the information provided here. I do want to make note of uh, kind of a key point is that as you're going through and reading this, no, always add the, this is the um, silver nitrate solution to the sodium thiosulfate solution. The opposite will create a black precipitate. So when we're mixing things, getting into the chemistry, it's very important the order that you mix things and what you mix into what. So just keep that in mind. Also to use a three millimolar um, solution here for spraying cucumber plants. Uh, this is what the example was given for this survey that I found, um, the resulting study. You want to dilute to three millimolar solution by mixing the six millimolar solution with double distilled water in a one to one ratio and store it in the dark. So this does make a slightly more concentrated solution, but then you're going to dilute that down to the three millimolar. So again, it's important to go through, make sure you have precise ways to measure things, uh, make sure everything is cleaned ahead of time. You don't want any chance of any cross con contamination here. Uh, spray plants in the third to fifth leaf stage, for terminal flowers, use two light squirts from the spray bottle, mix two applications one week apart. And this was used in a cucumber plant study, but as we just saw here, this same process and procedure directly applies to the cre creation of feminized seeds on cannabis plants. So I wish you the best of luck and hope that this is successful, or at least that this provides you some information on how to create feminized seeds on cannabis plants.